In order to use the remote control that comes with your little kit of wonders, you will need to make sure that the IR receiver is pinned correctly or wired correctly to the extension board. And then you'll need two blocks. So I'm going to scroll down. This is it. These are the two blocks that you need. But to get those, you're going to have to download a file. We're not able to get those through the extensions the way you're used to getting it. It's a new way of getting these blocks. So here is the file. Make sure you click on it and you download it to your uh, computer. So there we go. Mine is downloaded. There's no preview because it's meant to be opened in MakeCode. How do you get it open in MakeCode? Make sure you go to make code. And I would start a new project just to get used to this. You should call this, um, and again, if you're not at this page, this is the home page. So you will call this remote, let's call it IR remote. And let's call it one, because you will be doing many things with this remote. Create, and you will notice I don't have those blocks, the OSO blocks. So how do I get them from the file to my make code? You are going to go under advanced and scroll down to extensions, which seems familiar. You will not type in the OSO name here because you will not find it. You will scroll down to where it says import file. Click on import file, choose file. My hex file is downloaded to downloads. There's many places it could go. Please make sure you look at downloads because that's where it will be put. And you can see I have a lot of downloads. So this was a hex file and it is about the remote. It had the word remote in it. So I'm going to scroll down. It is alphabetical, blinking lights, flashing jukebox, mystery songs till I get, ooh, remote. There we go. REM, remote, starting point. Perfect. That's the one I want to That's the one I want to give to Microbit. Microbit remote control. Go ahead and open it. And then you will click go ahead. Meaning go ahead and give me those blocks. Oh, now you have some power. So when you click on this, there's only two blocks, which is awesome. This one uh, tells the infrared receiver, tells the Microbit where the infrared receiver has been uh, put in. So what pin did you put the receiver into? Zero, one, two. And we know by now this is really important. I put mine in pin one, I believe. And then you can tell the remote to do many amazing things. So maybe you want to press three and the micro bit should then show a heart. Maybe you want to do six and, well, but no, let's leave that. Leave three and then let's add another. There we go, pull out another one. Maybe you want one to make something else. That's really all there is to it. You are going to on start, say where the receiver is. And then the second block is for actually programming what you want the remote control to do when you push the buttons on the remote control. And that's just the start.